a lot of people think it's just design of the walls, basically wall paneling or ceilings and things like that. But actually the FF&E, I would say, cons constitutes about 45% of the budget. And it used to be pressure, you do this because this is what I expect. Now they're saying, oh, okay, now we can't do that. And what's the real answer? We are no longer comfortable using the people that we always used. Our uh, lists of suppliers have broadened. But the COVID has really forced us uh, to look uh, to different source market and it's really been successful. You can be as prepared as you like, something's going to come up that'll be slightly different to your experience before. But um, yeah, it certainly puts quite a lot of pressure on manpower, but the end result's worth it. I think uh, what's really interesting is that all of the designers uh, went through the same sort of you know issues uh, after the COVID and uh, one of the key ones there for us was you know physical boards creating physical boards and materiality as opposed to digital and I think that was one of the key things that was really uh, prominent in our um, industry or in our design process. The way we've work pre-pandemic was very uh, very comfortable. We used to just call uh, uh, local suppliers specified and specified for the rest of the world. Any project in Uganda, in Nepal, we basically we had the same process. And that uh, now with the difficulties of, of supply, we had to really reconsider completely the way we we're working. A lot more focus on the destination and working with local manufacturer, local suppliers, being overseas or being actually within the UAE. Whilst we work on projects which are sometimes three to ten years long in their design depending on process, we also have to come up with quick answers usually at the very end of it and our issue right now is supply chain. We had a lot of backlogs and we had to redesign many of our projects just because of uh, supply chain issues. Things are looking brighter, better now. We know that we have more resources. Suppliers themselves have gone ahead and broadened their, their prospects. For us, uh, most of our projects are very long, so we're noticing some of the fabrics or carpets or materials are actually um, really looking at um, you know, longer life cycles. We need them to be longer life cycles, but they're not, so we're having to re-specify because things are out of stock or they're not discontinued. So we're seeing on a lot of the longer projects, there's a lot more of that materiality that we have to go back and re-look at. So I think for us, that's changed uh, a little bit. Um, in terms of what we're doing. Often you're at a point where perhaps you've shifted resources onto a new project or, or any other stage of any other project and so finding the time to sit down and reselect things it can lead to some bottlenecks but it's something that you just have to manage because you know you're going to see the end results quite soon so it, it actually is a very vital part of the project. Do we go from Far East manufacturing to Middle East manufacturing? Do we look for supply coming from Europe or is there supply somewhere else? So um, I think that there's always going to affect the way we work. The outcome will always be beautiful and always be the same because that's what we are paid to do. But at the end of the day, sometimes it's not the original vision. We're developing a project and the client leaves the FF&E till the last minute and that can be an absolute nightmare because A, stock availability, B, just anything that's discontinued and so um, it can be really challenging on F&B. I think it's important if you can be involved in the post-contract side so that you're not just handing over your design, you continue the responsibility through the um, construction development. We need to design for the future one. And even though nothing is really future-proof that COVID has taught us, we still have to uh, take every design critically, um, criticize ourselves in a certain way. And when we come to the two-year period of actually seeing the space, I think we should relook at the designs that we have done so it doesn't undermine what we have done previously. But I feel now with the social media and the exposure and the digitization, Everything changes in, in a matter of months, not even years. I would call it even a matter of days. <music>